Ooh, look at this. Happy little crinoid star at the top though. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today we are out in Medina County, Ohio along a nice little creek back here. We're gonna be fossils on the ground. Probably not gonna take anything home. Um, but there should be some crinoids, brachiopods, bryzoans. I think the rock here is Mississippi in an age. But uh, let's see what we can find. Here it's some nice little crinoids. All those little circles. So the crinoids are sea lilies, um, is what they're they're called, but they were an animal. There's a little bit of a bryozoan fossil there, which is like a moss animal. It was like a filter feeder. That almost looks like part of a trilobite, but it's probably just going to be a brachiopod. Another little tiny brachiopod up there by my thumb. But, uh, yeah, nice rock. Let's see what's on the back of it. Another, maybe trilobite, maybe brachiopod. This hard one's just a small little bit of it. I think it's a brachiopod. That one over here is definitely a brachiopod. These other lines are more rhizoans. This isn't a fossil, but you've got some nice ripple marks in the rocks here. You can see the, the ripples. So that helps show off the depositional environment. Um, Kind of neat. There are more little crinoids in here. So each of these little circles is one little segment um, of the overall overall thing. Um, these longer pieces are a couple of segments. It would have been like a long stake with a sort of like a flower at the end, but it was an animal. Might be more really weathered crinoids. That might just be weathering pattern, actually. Let's into this one. I don't know what that is. Some more stuff on this one. Kind of more of that same bryozoan and crinoid hash. It's a pretty big crinoid. Right here in the corner. How about this one? I don't think that's anything. more little bits of stuff in here. It's a little shell hash. Nothing really phenomenal though. So these rocks are what people would call like a death plate or fossil soup. Basically it's just the seafloor where all these things would have been dying and accumulating over time as sediments buried them, preserving them, we get our fossils. So it's a death plate, death plate or fossil soup. There's other names for it too. Here's a nice little brachiopod in there. There's some more, some little bits of I don't know, aragonite, calcite, whatever the shell is made out of material in there. That's a nice impression though. I like that one. Hmm. Not a fossil focus. It's not a fossil, but we got some little bug. Some cute little uh 
concretion balls in there. It's cute. I like it. Focus. There's a little bit of shell hash on the back. A nice little crinoid there. Another one down here. Is a chunk of concrete. So is that. This is a fossil though. Let's see, we got a little brachiopod up there. Another little bit of brachiopod. Lots of just shell hash. And by hash I mean just little little chunks. This is I thought it was like the uh, like cross section of a gastropod, but it is not. more little fossils in here. A nice little crinoid. I don't know what that is. A little brachiopod imprint piece. This one. More, uh, more shell hash. Not much on the back of it. So I'll put it on this way. Nice little piece with some stuff. How tiny that little crinoid is. It's so little. It's a nice little piece. I like the ones that are that dark red color with the white fossils. They stand out really well. Another and some shell hash. This one's very weirdly shaped. It's an interesting way for that to weather, but it's got a lot of fossils in it. Lots of crinoids up there. Some shell hash on this side with another decent sized crinoid at the top. This piece has a lot of stuff in it. Nice, look at that brachiopod in the middle. Very pretty, very neat. Some more stuff on that side. So, let's see if there's anything else. So most of what's on here is brachiopods, as long as anything's being the bryozoans, little circles being crinoids, but this one's mostly, mostly the brachiopods. A big piece overall. Another weirdly shaped one. I wonder if like, oh, look at that brachiopod. That's big. There's my fingers there as a scale. I'm wondering if the ripple marks have anything to do with these weird, like, rounded pieces. If it was, like, indented into the ripple marks. I don't know for sure, though. Another little, little brack over here. And over there.
some more of those crinoid indents. I like the ones that look like a little flower in the middle. Those are cool. Maybe I can find what species that is. Did I look at these already? I feel like I looked at these already. More uh, various shell bits there. big chunk of granite. This would have been dropped off by the glaciers. It's what we call a glacial erratic. So there were these big ice sheets, essentially huge glaciers up in Canada that uh, would pluck up boulders and stuff as they moved further south. And uh, as they melted, they dropped those rocks and boulders off in this area. Oh, hello, little bug. to the glacial attic is another real big piece. Some more just fossil shell hash. Let's see, is there anything on the back of this one? No, there's not. Another one with lots of teeny tiny little crinoids. There, there, a little tiny brachiopod. Brachiopod piece on the side there. There was a weird thing in this one. Over here. I don't know what that is. It's probably part of a brachiopod. It's hard to do with hand one with, with one with hand. But uh interesting little little piece there. Um, let's see, is there something else I wanted to look at? This. This is not a fossil. But some sort of weird mineralization. I don't know if that's the right word for it. Um, it's like an iron-rich sandstone. Um, it's got some weird... I don't want to call it weathering. Weird... Formation. Mineralization might be right. I'll have to look into it more. But, uh, it's neat. More fossil hash in there. Ooh. A little bit of fossil, a little bit of brachio, uh, brachiopod shell bit in the middle there. This is a weird rock on the back. That. I definitely think it's within those uh, those wave structures. This is a weird rock. I don't think that's a fossil, but it's definitely weird. There's a brachiopod on the back of it, though. I see more crinoids. There's another piece with the Pretty big size crinoid. Uh, either part of a brachiopod or bryozoan there. Another piece of bryozoan in there. Some crinoids up here. A whole bunch of uh, imprints of crinoids and stuff on the back of this one. Very neat. guys time to head out uh, we found some great brachiopods crinoids uh, lots of little Mississippian aged fossils here I was only here about 20 minutes on a bunch but uh, we're leaving it here but anyway thank you so much for watching uh, don't forget to like and subscribe have a great day